Welcome to Table Knots, I'm Doolin, and I'm here to tell you about a little game called Scooby-Doo Escape from the Haunted Mansion, a hidden gem that I most recently played that I really think many more people should give a try. This is a cooperative game for one to however many people, but I really think past five, you're, you're gonna get a little crowded, so maybe stick to one to five. Your goal of this game is simple, escape from the Haunted Mansion as the Scooby-Doo gang. To do so, you'll need to rely on their strengths as each character has certain abilities that are crucial to your success. Like Ruby Doo, he can sniff anything. <laughs> Velma, she can research anything. Fred can investigate anything. Daphne is the item user. She's going to pick up and hold on to certain important items that you'll need to use later. And then also Shaggy just sort of eats things. In order to perform actions though, you'll need to use the three digit codes found on each map tile. Like for instance, at the very beginning of the game, Velma is trapped in a room by herself and so your only choice is to use her character. Velma, she is number one. And so to research anything in a room, you'll need to put the one in front of the three digit code found in the room, giving you a, guess what, four digit code that you'll look up in her binder. This contains a large number of information that will get you through the game. So be careful not to read any of the ones that you aren't looking up because it could spoil things or even cause you to eat a Scooby snack, which is actually points taken off of your final score at the end of the game. And beyond that, the game is pretty simple. You just use the four digit codes to learn more information, get more cards, unlock new map tiles until eventually you solve the case and you escape. So let's talk a little bit about what I actually enjoy about this game. First of all, the theme is absolutely incredible and it makes you feel like you're absolutely a part of the gang, searching for clues and falling into traps and all of these different things. And you even have the, the binders where you're looking up the information for each character written in the voices of the character. So it's hilarious. There's a lot of times where all I wanna do is find out what Shaggy's gonna say about every single thing in the room. The writing is incredible, and I don't know if they got the actual writers from the show or not, but they really captured the voices of these characters well. If you don't like Scooby-Doo, that's okay because I still recommend this game. There's still a cool mystery going on with a haunted mansion to go around and, and characters that are shady that you're gonna have to question and it's really neat and fun. As for the actual mechanics of the game, I will say that I find these fairly solid. Uh, as I played this only single player, I did find the constant switching between the folders a little tedious at times, but I actually love this mechanic. Being able to interact with anything in the room as any of the characters gave me the feeling that I had when I played old computer point and click adventure games. Everything, regardless of its usefulness, is interactive with all of the characters. And it's always incredibly fun when you do something not really expecting anything important to happen and, and this silly choice that you made actually blowing the case wide open and giving you a really important clue. My only complaint for this game is that there wasn't more of it for me to enjoy. This game lasted me about four hours and it was an incredible four hours and I, I would have done it over again. I still would have purchased it for what I purchased it at. But there's no promise for more of these and there's no promise for, um, like I almost called it DLC. There's no promise for any expansions for Scooby-Doo Escape from the Haunted Mansion. There's only one mystery to solve and while you can go back and redo it to maybe try to figure out things you forgot or missed along the way, I didn't really feel the need to. I played it, I was done, and I have actually already passed it along to a friend. That brings up to another good thing about this game though and a good thing in general when I, what I find about escape room style or unlocked games is a lot of times you can't even re-gift them. They're destroyed. There are parts of it you had to rip apart and in this game, that's not the case at all. My final thought on this is that if you enjoy old point and click adventures, if you enjoy escape room style games or even going to escape rooms themselves, or even if you're just a really big Scooby-Doo fan or have kids that are really into Scooby-Doo, 
This is a great game to try. I've played quite a few escape room style games and this is absolutely my favorite of the bunch. That's all I have for you guys. Read you next time, Raggy.